welcome back to the channel. Quick video. Uh, I had a comment a couple of weeks back from a guy and he said to me, how come you always test expensive kit? Well, I like expensive kit and expensive kit usually works. And what he was talking about was saws. So what I've done, I've bought the cheapest pruning saw I could find. I didn't particularly want to buy one mid-range. I wanted to get a cheap one, and this was cheap. This was £10 from Screwfix. An Irwin Jack. It was branded as a pruning saw, but I'm not quite sure if this is a woodworking saw or not. I haven't really done my homework. I just bought it for this. I'm going to put this up against my silky Zubat. See how good it does. Two tests. I'm going to cut some seasoned dead standing. Well, dead fallen at the moment. And I'm going to cut some green. See how they compare. We'll see. Well, this is a bit better, but they're both binding. And considering this is thicker at the blade than the spine, shouldn't really be the case on this one. Not a hell of a lot in there with green wood. Still wins. I know it's curved and this one's straight. 
but I wasn't going to buy another one of these with a straight blade just to compare it to that. It's definitely slower. I'd prefer to spend the extra money and buy a silky, although saying that, for somewhere in between you can get a samurai. I know my pal Scott's got a samurai, there's nothing wrong with it. I think what you're paying for with the silky, better handle material, better sheath. Obviously the blades are better. This thing is, well it's cheap, it's £10. And I think if you were running a school, or, you know, you were a bit rough with your tools, didn't have a lot of finesse, there's not a lot wrong with it. I don't think it's going to last very long, mine. But I'm not going to know, because I'm not going to use it again. It'll go in the toolkit at home. But I did want to do a comparison. Got a bit of a tick in the handle as well. And considering I haven't really done a lot with it. Yeah, so, my opinion, I won't be using it for bushcrafting. This, I will keep using. It's great. Does what it says on the tin. Don't think it's going to last forever. The handle is quite big. One thing this has got for it though. You could put a pole in there and a little screw and cut stuff high. Can't do that to this curved handle. Everything's got their pluses and minuses. But I won't be giving my silky up for one of these anytime soon. Thanks for watching this quickie. I thought it was worth doing. Thumbs up is always appreciated. I'll see you next time. Ta-ra.